Hi everyone, my name is Chitra. Today, I'm going to present our work on teaching RF to sense without RF training measurements. This is in collaboration with Herbert, Bilal and Professor Mustafi at UCSB. Wireless signals are everywhere these days and researchers have utilized them for various applications like imaging, person identification and tracking, and crowd analytics. In recent years, we have also seen great advancements in machine learning and deep learning. So one natural question is, can we use machine learning for RF sensing applications? Training a machine learning algorithm requires a lot of data. However, such a massive RF data set is not readily available. As such, one needs to collect massive RF data for many different activities and configurations, which is not feasible. Also, due to the lack of such data, the trained model cannot generalize beyond the training setup. So, is there a way to use machine learning for RF sensing without collecting RF training data? In this paper, we show that this is indeed possible. More specifically, we show how to train a human motion related RF sensing system without collecting any real RF data. We use online videos of human activities and translate them to instant RF data. This allows us to train any human motion related RF sensing system without real RF training measurements while ensuring generalizability and robustness to environmental changes. Now, let's see how we enable this. Given a video of a person performing an activity, we first extract and align the 3D mesh of the person. Then, based on the given RF setup, we simulate the received RF signal that would have been measured if the person in the video was performing the activity in the RF area. This allows us to generate a large amount of RF training data without collecting any real RF measurements. Such data can then be used to train a machine learning model. We next discuss our proposed approach in more detail in the context of gym activity classification. In this task, we want to use Wi-Fi signals to classify 10 kinds of workouts using machine learning. First, we create a large video dataset of these activities from YouTube videos. Then, for each video frame, we utilize a state-of-the-art computer vision algorithm to extract the 3D mesh of the person in the video. Applying this to all video frames, we get a moving 3D model describing the person's motion. However, these 3D points lie in arbitrary coordinate systems depending on the camera view. For example, these two 3D models face different directions. In order to generate massive RF training data from these videos, we need these 3D models to be in the same coordinate system independent of camera views. We do so by performing eigen analysis on the 3D torso points. The vector pointing towards the front of the person will correspond to the smallest eigenvalue and the vector pointing towards the top is the one with the largest eigenvalue. This provides a view independent coordinate system. This allows us to then align the 3D models regardless of their original camera views. Finally, we translate the video to RF. We simulate the wireless signal that would have been measured if the person in the video was near Wi-Fi links. For this purpose, we use Born approximation which efficiently calculates the reflected paths off of each 3D body point and then combines them to obtain the received signal. We then use short time Fourier transform to calculate the spectrogram of the generated RF signal which contains key information on motion of different body parts and can be used for feature extraction and classification. Here is an example spectrogram of a person performing deadlift we can see that the signal contains higher frequencies during the second half of the exercise since the person stands up faster than they bend down. Next, we validate our video to RF framework. Here are the spectrograms for the real and video generated RF data for four activities. The real and simulated ones match closely. Once we generate our RF training set, we extract a total of 33 features from their spectrograms to train a neural network classifier. We also position the person in many different locations to make training data more general. We extensively tested our trained model with 10 test subjects in three real Wi-Fi environments and a total of 1543 repetitions of activities. We achieve a classification accuracy of 81% 
when testing on individual workout repetitions. By fusing the classifications on multiple consecutive repetitions of the same exercise, our accuracy increases to 86%. This is comparable to the state of the art in RF based gym activity classification, but without using any real Wi Fi data for training. In conclusion, we have proposed a framework for training RF sensing systems without any RF training data and by translating the vast available online videos to the RF domain. By utilizing this framework, we have for the very first time successfully trained a Wi-Fi based gym activity classifier which only uses videos for training. Moreover, our proposed framework can be readily applied to other motion based RF sensing applications. That's all for my talk today. Thank you very much. You can check out our journal paper for more details and results.